Hey guys, um, sorry I haven't been making videos lately, but uh, there's another one right now. So what we're going to be talking about today is a little bit more about functions, and uh, the intent of this video is also to kind of tie up some loose ends again before we talk about classes, which are going to enable us to make our own data types. And there are just a couple things I want to go over before we move on to that. So let's get to it. Shouldn't be too long of a video. Just a few things. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to talk about that you might not think has anything to do with functions is uh, called references. And references are a means to make uh, like exact copies of a variable without um, you're not allocating new data, you're not making any new uh, any new variables. All you are doing is making a uh, a reference to another variable. So the way you do this is let's declare an integer a our favorite variable name. Let's set it equal to a um, hundred. Just something abstract. Or what's the word? I don't know. Something not abstract, but something that doesn't really matter. Um, and then we're going to declare a reference to it. So for that, you type integer. And then the same way that when you make a pointer, you use an asterisk to denote that you're making a pointer that points to an int. Um, to make a reference that references an integer, um, you use the ampersand operator um, to denote that. So let's call this ra, or lowercase a, because it's uh, a reference to a. And lately, or for most variables, you don't have to declare an assignment the first time, so like you can do a semicolon here and then on the next line to, uh, assign something to it, but you can't do that with references. With references you have to declare what they're referring to um, at the same time as you uh, declare that they exist. So that means that we have to say equals a here. We can't say r equals a here. It's not going to work. Okay, so what this does is this makes a reference called RA, which references directly to A. So what that means is that if we go ahead and see out address of A, you remember the address of operator, um, and then address of RA. So this will basically tell us um, the address in memory of these two variables. And what you're going to see... I'll just call it demo. What you'll see here is that um, they're going to have the same address. And that's because they're the exact same variable. They, you can just refer to them by a couple different names in your code. So let's run. Yeah, so you see these are the exact same. Um, so references, they're really, I mean, that's all there is to them. They're an exact reference to the same variable just with a different name. Um, they don't seem very useful because, of course, if we wanted to get the uh, address of something, we could just use the original name, but they're going to be useful in functions, um, so that's another thing I'm going to talk about in just a minute. Um, let's see, before I talk about that, um, let's say you wanted to keep your, your main function at the top of your source file. Um, you probably shouldn't get into that habit because it can kind of make um, coding more headachey, in my opinion, because you have to do something else to do that. But anyway, if you want to have your main function at the top, but you want it to use a function, let's make our say hello function again. Okay, so if we wanted to call this function in, uh, in main, like that, but we want main to be at the top, if we go ahead and just you know, try putting this say hello beneath main, because you know, global scope, it should all work out, right? No. Demos.cpp line 6, which I'm pretty sure is this line, say hello was not declared in the scope. And that's because uh, main comes along and it, it hasn't defined this function yet, because it's just started main and it hasn't um, done this yet. But it, <laughs> if you really want your main function at the top of your source file, um, there is a way to uh, accomplish this. And what you do that is, uh, the way you do that is by using something called a function prototype. And all that it is, is something above main 
that's going to tell the compiler that the function exists and is defined um, after or defined later. So it's basically the exact same as this header thing right here, where you say void say hello. So all we do up here is say hello, and then instead of starting our block like we would when we would define the function, we just put a semicolon. And that tells the compiler that, hey, I've made a function called say hello, and I'm not defining it right here, but if you look hard enough, you'll find it elsewhere in the source file. So then main goes through and it says say hello. So this is weird because I don't know what say hello is, but, you know, they said they defined it elsewhere, so let's go see. Oh, here it is. That's what say hello is going to do. So that's what I'll do here. So you'll see if we compile this, if we compile this, we won't get an error and it'll run just as we might want it to. So that's just function prototypes. If you're passing an argument here, so like if we're having an integer passed in and we're saying um, a equals a, okay? If you want to do that, so we want it to say um, a equals 10, um, these have to match this, these right here. So if we just do it like this, not actually sure, I think it'll say, yeah, too many arguments to function say hello. So when you have 10 in here, it's like, wait a second, you said you defined this function and it didn't have any arguments, so it gets all confused. Um, so it's pretty easy to fix, you just add in the argument that you're going to want up in your prototype, and then um, it'll work just fine. Um, obviously this works with functions that return values as well, so if this was an integer function, sorry, um, or a void function or whatever, uh, it'll still work. You just have to have this prototype. Um, I personally am not a fan of prototypes because they just kind of bother me. I prefer to just define my functions above main. It doesn't bother me if main's at the bottom. Um, so it's up to you. So that's just an option. So...